Hello and welcome to my dungeon, or ChatGPT to be more exact. I have tried to make the script for this video with ChatGPT, but I found out that it is super generic whenever it writes a text for something like that. And I have tried to use ChatGPT as a dungeon master, but that too doesn't work so well at the moment. What I did find it very useful for is as an assistant dungeon master that helps you with your writing and with random content and with getting ideas when you are preparing your adventures. Let me show you what I did. This was my first try. Generate five NPCs for use in D&D in the style of Robert E. Howard. And I got five famous characters from Robert E. Howard's stories. Tothamon, Valeria, Conan himself, Red Sonia. Then I tried something else. Elaborate on this prompt. This is a description out of my own notes for a short story. And ChatGPT wrote rather competently an elaborated form of this that with little to no change could be put into a book, for example, or that I could read to my players if I so choose. But let's try something else. Let's use this prompt again, but I want to generate five original NPCs for use in D&D uh, with stats. Let's see. Interestingly enough, ChatGPT is remembering how I have structured my own NPCs. So appearance, motivation, secrets, dilemma, allies and enemies. But the NPCs have no longer anything to do with Robert E. Howard. These are more like Forgotten Realms NPCs. Let's see what we have. Draven Darkblade, Drow Rogue. A lithe, graceful figure with striking features and piercing red eyes. Motivation. To become the most notorious thief in the land. Secret. He's secretly in love with the daughter of a wealthy merchant. Dilemma. He's torn between his love for the merchant's daughter and his desire for wealth and power. Allies. A group of other thieves and a corrupt city official. Enemies. The merchant's family and the local law enforcement. And some stats that on first glance look to make sense. So this is not so bad. These are five NPCs that I could use right away. And it took only a moment to make them. Let's start a new chat. Okay, let's try this. Generate five notes hanging on the notice board of the Ambeck Adventurers Guild. Ambeck is a big port city in a 16th century medieval German fantasy world that lies near a cursed enchanted forest. So this is a more complicated prompt, but it is also more precise, hopefully giving more exactly what I wanted to do. Let's try it. So we got attention all adventurers, beware of the cursed forest in the east of Ambeck. Okay, so that doesn't do a lot. Wanted experienced adventurers to assist in the recovery of a stolen artifact from a band of thieves operating in the city. So this is a start to get some adventuring ideas. Let's see if chat GPT can do a bit more. Generate five more now score. Make them more in the style of Lovecraft. <laughs> Make them more Lovecraftian, let's see. And now we get Beware the Cursed Forest. Yeah, same as before, but it's now worded differently. It's now worded more Lovecraftian. Heed the warning, the adventurers. 
There are dark and ancient powers at work in this city, whispering secrets that should remain forever locked away. Generate five more nodes, quest nodes, for dangerous quests that lead far into the cursed forest. And we get five more nodes, all of them having to do both with the forest, and all of them quest nodes, seeking brave adventurers to explore the ruins of an ancient temple. A powerful artifact hidden within the depth of the cursed forest. We have reason to believe a coven of witches is using the cursed forest as a staging ground. Powerful necromancer is taking up residence. There are rumors of a lost city hidden deep within the cursed forest. So this is something that rolling on some random tables in your favorite campaign books could give you as well. But this is very convenient. Let's try something else. Imagine you already have your plot idea, but you still need to come up with some of the details. For example, what does the villain look like? So this is my prompt. Write a short description of an evil wizard who is a dwarf and also a master baker who is using his baked goods for his nefarious plans. And I want ChatGPT to use this template. Appearance, plan, secret, strength, weakness, stats, and special abilities. Let's see. First, it is structured just in the way I set out, which is good. Appearance. The evil dwarf wizard known as Vorgathor the Baker. I didn't even ask for a name. This is very good. It's a short, rotund figure with a bushy black beard and piercing blue eyes that seem to glint with malice. He wears a simple apron over his dark robes and carries a wand that crackles with dark energy. Plants. Orgothor's true passion is not baking, but the pursuit of dark and twist magic. He uses his baked goods as a cover for his true intentions. To gather power and followers in secret and use his magic to control and manipulate those around him. His ultimate goal is nothing less than to dominate the world with his dark powers. Secret. Wargathor's bakery is a front for his sinister cult, dedicated to the worship of the dark gods and the pursuit of forbidden knowledge. His baked goods are infused with a potent magic, capable of seducing and enslaving those who consume them. Strength. Wargathor is a master of dark magic, with a particular talent for mind control and manipulation. He is also an expert baker, able to use his skills to create baked goods that are both delicious and magically potent. Weakness. Wargathor's overconfidence and arrogance often blind him to the true intentions of those around him. He is also vulnerable to holy magic and divine intervention, as his dark powers are anathema to the gods. Stats. Wargathor is a 7th level evil wizard with a charisma score of 18 and an intelligence score of 17. He has proficiency in baking tools and magic wands and is able to cast a range of spells including Charm Person, Suggestion and Dominate Person. Special Ability. Wargathor has the ability to create magical baked goods that grant temporary bonuses to those who consume them. He is also able to use his charisma to charm and manipulate those around him and has a talent for using his baking skills to will over even the most skeptical of customers. As you can see, it is elaborating on my vague idea here. And this gives me the basis to run an adventure, maybe even a whole campaign to stop Vorgathor, the evil baker. Now comes the kicker. ChatGPT remembers this. It can now ask it to um, elaborate on the bakery. So ChatGPT has remembered what it came up with for Vorgathor. So we get a description of the bakery, fairly unassuming, located at the marketplace, small unassuming building, simple wooden sign, always busy with a constant stream of customers, 
Inside, the bakery is filled with the warm, comforting aroma. The bakery is also well known for its savory pies filled with rich meat and vegetables and it hearty soups and stews. However, the most prominent goods sold at Vagasor's bakery are the small round pastries known as mind bites. These deceptively delicious treats are infused with a powerful magic that can seduce and control those who eat them. Customers who try the mind bites often find themselves coming back for more, unable to resist the irresistible combination of buttery pastry and magical charm. And I can go on like this. For example, write a short story synopsis in bullet points for an adventure with Wargathor as the antagonist. And this gives me the outline for an adventure, hired by a local noble to investigate a mysterious cult. They discover the cult is centered around a popular bakery. The bakery is filled with customers who seem to be under some sort of magical influence. The adventurers discover that Wargathor is using his baked goods to control and manipulate the populace and that he is a powerful evil wizard. They attempt to confront Wargathor, but he uses his magic to charm and control the adventurers, forcing them to do his bidding. The adventurers must find a way to break Wargathor's hold over them and defeat him, all while dealing with the mind-controlled customers and cultists that stand in their way. Ultimately, the adventurers confront Wargathor in his secret lair beneath the bakery, where they engage in a final battle against the powerful wizard and his minions. As you can see, you can use ChatGPT as a very useful tool to help you with your writing efforts. But if you don't give it very specific and creative input, it will only generate very generic output. You have to put in the creative spark which in this case was just that the evil wizard is also a baker. And you have to tell it exactly what you want it to do. But then it can save you a lot of writing time. And remember, this is just the beginning of a publicly available AI assistance. This is like when the iPhone 1 launched. Remember how that was and what your phone can do now? This can be amazingly useful, amazingly powerful for a writer, for RPG in the future. Imagine if you were to train this model and give it all of the information of a campaign world, like everything that is available for the Forgotten Realms. It could then help you write within the Forgotten Realms, but it could also become the game master for a type of text adventure. And it would be far more flexible than any text adventure, any PC role-playing game has ever been. Almost like playing with a real GM. If these AI keep developing, at the speed they are now. Within five years, you will be able to play with an AI GM on a virtual tabletop and have a great time. Even if that AI GM cannot compare to the creativity of a human GM. <laughs> At least that's what I hope as a creative human G game master. Let me show you one other thing. I've also been experimenting with the mid-journey image generation AI. These are some of my experiments. Dwarven Ranger exploring a dark and dangerous dungeon line art. And that gave me this. This is how it usually works. It gives you four examples. And then you can choose one of these and have created four more examples that are similar to the one you chose. So for this, I chose the first one, gives me four more 
that are similar to that picture, slightly different. And you can elaborate on that process a few times until it comes up with something decent. Or you can change your text around. Dwarving Ranger holding an axe in his right hand and a torch in his left hand is exploring a very dark and dangerous dungeon with only the light of the torch to see by. And that gave me these four pictures. And I had it upscale this one. Now this illustration is still far from perfect, but to just have something for me personally that could be a picture of a character or an NPC, this is already very good. And because I choose to use line art, I can correct the mistakes that the AI made fairly easily. Another example, a beautiful female elven thief making her way through a dark dungeon by the light of the torch she is holding in her hand. He gave me this. And I thought, these ladies don't look very thief to me. So I uh, changed my prompt. A female thief, not a beautiful female thief, just a female elven thief. That gave me this. Notice how it completely changed the style that the program used. Another room with a beautiful female elven thief. Then had it upscale this picture. Once again, perfect as the base for some character portrait. Now let's try Let's try an evil dwarven wizard baker confronting a party of adventurers in his bakery. And this takes a few moments. You can almost see it working. And it's done. Let's see what it came up with. As you can see, there's a lot of bakery in here. Some dwarven elements but it's not confronting a party of adventurers. So I probably have to work on my prompt. Mid journey is still limited when it comes to generating very specific pictures and especially pictures like it has never seen before. It's pretty good generating pictures that are similar to the training data as you would imagine AI would. Let's try something more generic. Let's try a dwarven wizard in the style of Larry Elmore. With this more generic prompt for something the AI probably has more training data on, I get pretty decent results. Yeah, let's upscale the one in the bottom right. And upscale that gives me this. And that was what five minutes of work. Now I've got a portrait of a dwarven wizard. And once again, imagine what you can do. Imagine if I were better with my prompts. Imagine where this AI will be in one year, in five year. Imagine this AI is trained with every artwork that has ever been done for the Forgotten Realms. And now imagine our AI Dungeon Master from before giving prompts to this image generator to generate pictures of scenery, monsters and NPCs that the AI just came up with to illustrate the adventure that you are just playing. These AI tools are already useful for us dungeon masters, as I hope I could demonstrate in this video. But imagine where they would be in five years time. Yeah, I personally think when it comes to AI, 
we are in for revolutionary interesting times. Will we have wonderful adventures with our friendly AI GMs or will we be taken over by Skynet? I don't know. But we'll eventually find out. That's all I have for today. Thanks for watching. I bid thee farewell, dreamer, until we shall meet again.